Hi Aquarius, this is your November 6th uh, through November 12th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at new love coming towards you. In the second spread we'll check in with those of you who are already married or in a relationship. Then I'll do the love from the past. Spread after that we'll talk about your work, your business and your finances real quick. And then we'll wrap things up with what you're not expecting to happen this week's spread. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Nine of Wands, clarified by the world. We have the Six of Swords, clarified by the Fool. We have uh, the Two of Cups in the potential outcome. Uh, we have the Ace of Swords with the Ace of Cups and the Six of Wands. And we also have uh, the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, Aquarius, i got to be honest with you, you could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign, right? The only zodiac sign that we actually have a card for, <laughs> a particular one, the Fool. The Fool could be an Aries, but it's also elemental air. Right, but we got every single element on the table. Got wands, cups, uh, pentacles, swords. What I can tell you, I can give you a couple of scenarios as to how the two of you can can uh, move forward. Right, we start with the nine of wands, clarified by the world, and the next two cards are the six of swords, clarified by the fool. That paints a pretty clear uh, picture as to what's happening here. Right, a couple of scenarios. So scenario number one, uh, perhaps uh, you don't trust people anymore. You don't trust people anymore because you got hurt in the past and uh, you're being very very cautious when it comes to uh, getting into new relationships or you don't even feel like getting into a relationship at this point. Right? And uh, this person is going to come in and they will restore your faith in love, they will restore your faith in people, they will you will trust this person, they will earn your trust and at some point you will be like okay alright alright so let's give it a shot so that would be scenario number one. Scenario number two perhaps you and this particular person had a false start at some point in the past right but it just never got off the ground or something happened right they have to go they disappeared something among those lines and now this person is going to try with you again however you don't trust them right now so they've got their work cut out for them they've got their work cut out for them either way no matter what the scenario is and uh, again they will have to earn your trust and at some point they will all right so that's how i see uh, the beginning of this um, situation right the, the nine of ones clarified by the world the nine of ones is a card of a wounded warrior this is a card of this is not a card of a rejection it is a card of somebody who is very skeptical suspicious somebody who doesn't trust uh, the person you're dealing with somebody who would say something like um i don't know if this is such a good idea or i'd rather not <laughs> the good news like i said this energy, your initial reaction towards this individual is going to become a thing of the past, right? The world clarifying the nine of wands, this is a card of an ending, but I usually interpret it as a card of a happy end, right? So in this case, the nine of wands energy is going to uh, become a thing of the past and uh, you're moving forward. Speaking of moving forward, we do have the six of swords clarified by that full card. Right, the Fool is also the only major arcana card. And the Six of Swords is literally moving forward, moving out of choppy waters so towards calmer waters. And uh, with the Six of Swords, things usually get better. Okay, this person is going to come into your life and uh, your life will improve. Your life will get better. I personally believe we are in each other's lives to make each other's lives better. Because otherwise, what's the point? That's my... Um, that's how I see relationships and connections with people, right? And perhaps that's what's, that's exactly what's happening here. This person will make your life better. <laughs> the full clarifying the Six of Swords could be an Aries you're dealing with, but the full, first of all, it's a card of letting go of that nine of wands energy. And second of all, yeah, let's see what happens. Let's uh, let's give it a shot. That type of energy, right? And uh, the very next card I came out is the Two of Cups. There's two people in the Two of Cups, right? This is a card of a soulmate connection. It's a card of unconditional love. It's a card of when two people feel the same way towards one another. Two people who see eye to eye. And the uh, in the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Swords with the Ace of Cups and the Six of Wands, and we also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So we got two Aces in the potential outcome. You know, for some of you, the Ace of Swords belongs to you, right? You are an air sign, that's your Ace, and the Ace of Cups could belong to the person you're dealing with. 
right? But or it could be mutual energy. With the Ace of Swords, you're going to be crystal clear uh, that this person is uh, very loving. This person is very patient. This person is not going to hurt you. They're going to stick around. They're in it to win it. They're in it for the long haul, right? Then the, the Ace of Cups. This is what it's all about: love. Genuine, authentic love. The six of wands right next to the deck is a card of victory, success. It's a card of feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's going on. It's a card of attention. So you definitely have this person's full and undivided attention. They're, they are also very attentive. As I already mentioned, they've got to work it out for them and I think they will deliver. Okay? Um, back in the day, the six of wands used to be called the proposal card. <laughs> um, the ten of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Love that card. This is a rock solid commitment to marriage. Rock solid commitment of marriage. This is when people have money in the bank, they purchase a home together, um, they have children or have more children if that is still an option for them. So, yes, um, essentially, this is a journey from the nine of ones all the way to the six of ones, right? The nine of ones is like, eh, I don't think I want to do this, I'm still hurting, I'm still recovering. The person in the six of ones feels very confident confident and uh, really good about what's going on. Really happy for you, Aquarius. Congratulations. If you are already married, or if you're in a relationship, Aquarius, this part is for you. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Three of Pentacles, and we have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. One of you... Well, this spread right here is about work, business, and finances, Aquarius. I will still do the work, business, and finances spread separately, but for those of you already in a, in a relationship or married, work is going to be important, more important than usual. It kind of feels like... One of you could go on a business trip um, or could get a new job, start a new job or start like a side hassle that could potentially become the main source of income, right? Uh, perhaps both of you are starting that uh, side hassle or something like that. We're starting a business together and uh, that will eventually become your main, of sor main source of income for both of you. But I believe this has something to do with work, with the way at least one of you makes your money. Okay, the Eight of Pentacles, the first card I came out, is a card of work, business, and finances. The Three of Pentacles right next to the deck clarifying the Page of Pentacles could also be interpreted as a work, business, and finances card. Okay, and the Three of Wands right next to, uh, the next card I came out after that Eight of Pentacles is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, and that's pretty much it, right? Now we're, now that we know what we're doing, we're moving forward. That's the energy of the Three of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune on, on the bottom of the deck is either a start of a new cycle or literally going somewhere, or both, all right, or both. And uh, the last two cards, the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Three of Pentacles that were already briefly mentioned. Yeah, starting something new. The Page of Pentacles could be paperwork that is being filed, right? If you're starting a business, perhaps you need to file paperwork. Or if one of you is starting a new job, um, then still paperwork, <laughs> right? To, to get the onboarding process uh, going. For others of you, mm, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that's what I see here, all right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, um, Aquarius, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent next. We have the Ace of Cups, clarified by the King of Cups. We have Judgment, the Hierophant, and the Tower on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We also have Taurus on the table. I think it's a reconciliation, um, Aquarius, with this King of Cups. Yeah, they're back. <laughs> they're back, and it feels... Hmm. The, the thing about the tower card on the bottom of the deck, the tower could be a Scorpio card, right? It's one of their major arcana cards. So if, and the King of Cups could be just the water sign and, uh, and uh, Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces, right? Scorpio is a water sign. And uh, if this person is a Scorpio, then the tower is simply saying that you're dealing with a Scorpio. If they're not a Scorpio, then the tower, perhaps something, uh, this person is going to show back up in a... Um, in a very unexpected way, I guess, right? The tower usually comes in and things change, <laughs> okay? A change of plans, this person is just going to show up and uh, your day will be different from this point on because you'll have to change your plans. Or they may just show up at your doorstep or something like that. I don't mean to creep you out, but yeah, the tower is when things uh, happen unexpectedly. Things change, right? And uh, here they are with that Ace of Cups, clarified by the King of Cups. Yeah, the Ace of Cups is love. Perhaps something happened in this person's life 
and they have to rethink their life and they may share that with you right we do have judgment in the middle which is a card of somebody coming back from the past the hierophant right next to the deck um, is is what they want with you right it is a card of something serious something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage all right and this card came out on its own it's not a clarifier right and it's the last card that came up and it is a major kind of card. We do have three major kind of cards on the table. Three, right? Out of five cards, three of them are major kind of cards. Out of four cards that originally came out, three of them were major kind of cards. So it kind of looks like a reconciliation. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Aquarius, this week real quick. We have the world, the two of cups, clarified by the ace of pentacles. We have justice and uh, the eight of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Libra. I'm awesome, Aquarius, a new agreement is being signed, a new contract, a new job, uh, some kind of paperwork that's going to be filed. You could be promoted um, or you could be um, <laughs> rewarded for something even. All right, so yeah, it's a, it's a new chapter of your life. All right, literally, right? The world, the first card I came out, is a card of a happy end. This is when one chapter of your life comes to an end and a new chapter of your life is about to begin. Then we have the Two of Cups. I usually interpret the Two of Cups as the handshake card when it comes to work, business, and finances, right? And uh, it could be literally a handshake. Uh, and then some paperwork being signed, all right? And some paperwork being filed, okay? And it could just be Mm, you are having like an agreement with somebody at your existing job. I got your back if you got my back. But for most of you, like I said, it's uh, a promotion, a new job, a contract, or what have you, right? Some kind of an alliance being established. You know, if you run your own business and you could be merging with another company or you could be uh, becoming a vendor or a supplier or somebody could be becoming a vendor or a supplier for your company if you're on one. Right, yeah, and the Ace of Pentacles clarifying it is uh, a golden opportunity, right? Money, something that's going to be around for a while because it's all about long term. Justice right next to the deck, again, some kind of a paperwork being filed with the government, right? <clears throat> or justice is let's just do it, every, let's just do everything by the book, all right? And that uh, justice could be uh, the way uh, something is happening that you deserve it, right? And, um, yeah, you, perhaps you work for the government. Justice could be a government agency. The Eight of Pentacles um, on the bottom of the deck is a card of work, business, and finances. All right, so, yeah, something brand new. All right, cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Aquarius. We have the Four of Swords, the Eight of Swords, the Six of Swords, clarified by the Sun, and uh, we also have uh, the Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck. It kind of reminds me of the first spread, the new love spread. Okay, so it could be a repeat of what we saw in the new love spread because we do have the six of swords here, right? And uh, we have the ace of cups. This is a different deck. I use different decks for different spreads. For others of you, um, there's still a forward movement. Things are about to get better, right? Whoever this spread is applicable to, they're deciding to move forward because they believe that uh, they will be happy by moving forward. Right, because the last card I came out is that six of swords clarified by the sun. The sun could be a Leo you're dealing with, but the the sun is a card of clarity, and most importantly, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. So happiness ahead, <laughs> happiness straight ahead, um, Aquarius. But the prior to the six of swords, we do have the four of swords and the eight of swords. So I think this is you kind of having to think about it, having to wrap your head around what's what this person means. Right, you may have to like analyze their behavior, or um, and it's not going to be easy with those two cards. So do take your time. Like I said during the first part, this person is going to be very patient with you. Right, they will wait and they will just be there for you. And I think you will eventually decide to move forward with them. The Ace of Cups on the bottom of the deck is all about love, um, genuine, authentic love. Right, so you're choosing happiness because this person will uh, gain your trust. All right, so hopefully this makes sense, Aquarius. And uh, that's what I have for you for this reading, for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Aquarius, have an amazing week.